Hello, my name is Altar and this is an instruction video on how to install one of the community fixes which are available to for Twilight of the Honor. Um, Twilight of the Honor, the final expansion for Galsif 2, has quite a few issues with AI research and there's a couple of mods you can use to fix that. My mod, APT, available from this site um, and several others. Now it is quite simply a matter of taste which one of these mods you'll enjoy. Um, the instructions I will show you are for APT but can be applied to all of these mods so there's really no difference in how to install them. First you need to download the mod obviously. Now these are always provided in a zip file. Um, the fact of the matter is you, all you need to do to install a mod is to drop this in the proper folder and Galsif will do the rest. Now to figure out which folder you need to use. All you need to do is to start up the game and go to the option screen. Then here within game options the current mods directory is displayed. If you press change you can see the full mod directory. Now if you've never installed a mod or never clicked on this before this will probably be the mod folder which your Galsif 2 Twilight of the Honored game will be using. Um, by default the game will go to Galsif 2 mods. Um, that is actually the mod folder for Galsif 2, not Twilight of the Honor. So unless you want two games looking at the same mods, which I wouldn't recommend, click default once. The screen will close. Now if you take a look you'll see that the game has actually changed the mod folder to Twilight mods default. And it will actually show you the mods installed if you have any. Now in your case probably not. But now we know which mod folder we need to use. So all you really need to do now is to simply go to this folder and drop, um, just extract uh, your whatever community fix you want to use. So in this case I'm just going to use a shortcut here. You're looking at this. So you got C program files, Twilight, Galsif 2 Twilight mods which is displayed here. Um, the default part actually refers to default folder here which you can see here that is the stock mod which the game will always generate for you this is the folder structure you use when you start making a new mod now you can simply select which mod you want to use um, and then click done but before you can do that obviously you'll need to extract um, the zip file so all you need to be all you need to do is just drag and drop that in here and then you'll need to restart the game and it should appear in the list. That is pretty much all you need to do. Um, then you tick use mods, otherwise the game will not even use the mods really. Um, select the mod you want to use and then just restart the game. And that's pretty much it, all you need to do to activate a mod. Um, now for people using higher versions of Windows uh, than Windows XP, for example Windows 7 or A perhaps even 8 Vista probably. Um, writing files into program files um, folder will be perhaps a bit problematic. And what I'm going to show you now is how to manually set up uh, a mod folder for Galsif 2 Twilight of the Honor. Now um, make sure you've booted up the game at least once and the game will make a folder in my games GC2 Twilight Honor. That's what it will make and it will do that in your document folder. Now in there you'll find a couple of files, um, especially if you've played the game before this will definitely exist, probably with something like this, save game files, race config XML files, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, what you're looking for is prefs.ini. Uh, if you have file extensions hidden you'll need to just find look for prefs. I've got several ini files here for testing purposes, you will not have these. Okay first thing you should do is just make a folder in here and I've called it mods and then I've simply extracted um, apt or whichever fix it mod you're using extract that folder in here just open that up and then copy the address just copy that I've got a Dutch version of Windows but I'm copying trust me now with that address in your clipboard simply go back to prefs.ini and look up this setting mods dear this is what you're looking for now what you want to do is get rid of whatever it says paste that path in there and make sure you add this to close things off nicely 
Now, once you've got that on, put there, the game will look for a mod in this folder. It will actually automate. It will actually activate it as well. Um, what you could do to manually do that is to actually look for the enable mods setting, which right now I'm not really finding. Should be there somewhere. There we go. Enable mods. If this says zero, just change it from zero to one. Save it. And that's it. That should activate the mod. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that that mod is actually working. Now, to do that, simply open up the game. Um, In APT's case, I've done a replacement of the background image and it should say APT in a version number below. If you have a different mod which you use, for example, to making and all that stuff, you should still be able to see that here. Yeah, as you can see, it's activated. Um, this is not the folder I just entered in press.ini. Like I said, I've got a different type of setup here. Uh, this will tell you, this should have some text here which should tell you the mod's activated. Um, another way is to simply start a new game and just check if you see any differences and that should really do the trick. Um, once you've done that and you're sure that the mod is activated, there is another step which is equally important. You'll need to get rid of all your configura all your customizations. Um, I'll go into the reason for that. Um, there's a file which is pretty much altered by, for example, APT made changes to it. I'm pretty sure Marvin Karsh and Tolmakian and Alton Twilight also did changes here. Very sure of that. It's called Race Config XML, and what it contains is the settings for each stock civilization, uh, including custom races. There's a template for that in here as well. Um, now, what the game actually does is it will read all the information from this file for the first time um, when you make alterations to a race that can be assigning points, changing the name, all that stuff. It's very likely you have done that and if you have the community fix of your choice will not work. It'll work a little bit but not properly. Um, for example, here's the race config XML file for the Altarum resistance. If we open that, you'll see that the descriptions in here and all sorts of other stuff. Um, the game reads this file. And if there's any changes in race config XML for uh, fixing purposes, it will ignore them. So you need to get rid of all of these files. How you get rid of them, that is your choice. You can delete them, obviously, or you could just do what I do and make a backup uh, and just toss them in there and there you go. Now you've got a completely clean game with a mod installed and that ensures that race config XML is read properly. I can't stress that enough how important that is. There's AI changes in there, it won't work. You'll need to remove these files or back them up, whatever you prefer, whenever you change uh, between these community fix mods because they all alter this stuff. They will not work properly. So say you've got um, say you've got um, Marvin Karsh and Tolmaki and Ultimate Twilight and APT all running next to each other. Every time you switch between these mods, make sure that you go to your My Games CC2 Twilight Honor folder and get rid of these or back them up. That is really your choice. Now once you've done that, it should all work just fine. Um, a small addition here, if you want to do custom races with any of the fixed mods, um, I've written a small piece on that about that on my website. Uh, this is about APT but it really applies to any community fix. Um, it will give you a list of AIs that are behaviors that are safe to use. Uh, what I'm talking about of course is the ability in Twilight of the Honor to set up behavior for every civilization in the game. Now um, you can set that up here. Uh, for example uh, I take, I'll take, i use my YouTube demo um, here, um, I'll just start up something. If you edit a race, for example, Tory configura Confederation, um, 
I'll actually use the alternate resistance. Uh, you can set up personality. Now, race behavior is tied into an AI engine as well. There's four of them. Two don't work. And picking the wrong race behavior will accidentally set these guys back to their broken AIs. Now, uh, on the website, there's a list of things that are good and things that are to be avoided. Now, you can still use the broken AIs, no problem, um, but your game will be less than satisfactory. Um, for those AI, for, for, um, for example, the Turing configuration had their AI change because their default one is busted. Um, when you edit that, it will actually say generic as personality. Uh, in the case of APT and probably several others, for example, to making change AIs around, I think Marvin Kosh did as well, it'll say a generic, it is very unlikely that it is actually a generic AI, but that's a whole different story. Uh, anyway, the gist of it is this, read this part of the website and just stick to these behaviors. Um, that will make sure that you get the most out of your um, a out of your opponents. Thanks for watching and enjoy your fixed Twilight of the Honor, whichever mod you may have picked. Goodbye for now.